and welcome to day two of IPC Apex Expo 2023 in San Diego. I'm joined by Dave from uh, Quicktick, who uh, you're literally next door to us, so you haven't had to come too far. We are. <laughs> yeah. So actually, you know, give, give us an overview of what you're doing, what you're showing at the show. Yeah, we uh, Quicktick's uh, MES provider, but it's not just an MES system, it's a scalable range of tools that work together to become an MES system. So the advantage is that you don't need to start off with uh, providing a, a full solution throughout the facility. You can take work instructions or different aspects of the software. How do you, so a customer comes to you, they, they can get on board quite easily on a sort of small level kind of thing and then add features as they go, is that the idea? Yeah, there's a preconceived uh, idea that with it being MES being classed as an enterprise solution, that it's a long install, that you've got to fill it in through the whole shop floor. Uh, so, so we can, like, like we were saying before, we can start off with just smaller modules and, and scale up as and when. Right. And are you having to change people's expectations when they come to you then? A, you know, a, a typical sale would involve someone thinking it's more complicated than it is, is it? There is, yeah. And there's, there's quite often there's a, a, an understanding that it needs to match a particular MRP system or it needs to match particular machines. But we've got open interfaces on there that will tie in to right. different MRP yeah. systems, different machines. And if we don't have an interface for that, either the customer can write one through yeah. our API or uh, we can quite quickly sort of generate one for them. Yeah. How long has this taken to develop? Uh, we started off in 2007, just basically collecting defects at the back of a wave solder machine. Right, yeah. And then it expanded further and further and we got more requests from customers. So pretty much most of the things that we've developed have been sort of customer requests yeah. over the first sort of eight to 10 years. And um, yeah, we are where we are now. Yeah, no, that's fantastic. And I guess you, there's a little bit of, you know, well, there's a lot of experience there, isn't there? And you sort of, you can then see where it's going. And I guess the challenge with something like this is keeping it up to date, isn't it? Yeah, there's, we've been hit with quite a, quite a range of products. People that want traceability, and we've based our product on serial numbers, but then we get some that just want batch traceability. Yeah. So just tweaking the system so that it can be configured yeah. to match lots of different environments has been key. And we can switch on, switch off, or, or configure to suit, I'm saying pretty much anything, a, a quite a wide range <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of, um, of, of, of business requirements, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're worldwide, aren't you? So um, we, we focus on uh, North, North America and, um, and the UK, UK at right, the moment, yeah, but yeah. yes, we're looking at further afield. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, so to, it's been a quite a busy show as well, hasn't it? I mean, you know, we've had, you've had good uh, traffic on the booth. Yeah, we, we had, we've got quite a few, um, quite, quite a bit of interest yesterday uh, that is, there's direct matches. It's the solution that the customer, and it's, it's a dream when somebody comes along yeah. with a solution and we can actually not just say that we can, we can do that, we can actually demonstrate it face to face. So being at a trade show is, is, yeah. is great for that sort of. Yeah. And does, do you get time to get around and see what everything else, everything else is going? No. <laughs> That's the trouble, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But, you know, it, it's good that it's back to being busy as, as it was. So, I mean, typically, you know, you get a lead here that, you know, you've then got to turn that into an actual, you know, the work has only just begun really, hasn't it? Is there, a, for you, is there a case of a bit of a consultation period with that client to find out exactly what they need and customise yeah, it? Generally, when somebody comes over and sees sees QuickTick for the first time, they're not aware of the range of features that we can do. And it's not as if, with all the marketing will in the world, we can't sort of express that on a, on a website. Yeah, we could put little video clips in and, and, and things there. And we're, we're going to grow that side of the, uh, of the marketing. But when they see that, it opens up doors where they want to engage with other people back at the factory. So yeah. the next stage is generally we, we set up Teams meetings, which can yeah. be done pretty quickly. It's software. We don't need to move a big chunk of metal anywhere. Yeah. And um, we, can, we, you know, we can go through the, the actual features that that customer may be yeah. interested in. Yeah, no, that's fantastic. Well, I hope the rest of the show is successful for you. Um, it's been pretty busy so far. And thanks for spending the time to talk to us. Thank you very much.